Greetings everyone, Xanrath here. Welcome back to more Hearthstone. Some more, oops, not that. Tavern Brawl. That's what we're doing this time. And uh, it's a counter at the crossroads. Counter at the crossroads. Pick a class. Let's see what's in your deck this time. So basically it was, um, we've had this before, and it was basically just, you get random cards every time, right? A deck of 30 random cards. Um, and I think there was always like a certain amount of legendaries, if I remember correctly from... The last time it was a thing. So let's go ahead and jump in. Uh, we have a whole new expansion uh, to mess around with. Um, fourth Wing is out, but I haven't <laughs> seen it yet. So I'm going to see some new stuff that I haven't seen before. Um, hopefully. We're going to hit up uh, with Druid because I have a Druid quest. So, you know, always always wanting to be efficient. We're going to do that. Uh, druid Hunter. And I think, I don't know, in a deck of... When you get like, random, random cards, I think having a Druid hero power is a, maybe a little bit better. Just because you can kind of utilize it to control the board. Um, yeah, so anyways, we'll see how it goes. Alright, so we're going to get Shaman. Um, Shot the Zod. Alright, oldie but goodie. Let's go at, uh, let's, I'll, I'll hold this, I think. Other than they call the Zod. 2-3, two, 2-3-4, three. Two, three, okay. Um, let's see if I can get a 1. Nope, not quite. Alright, well, that's fine. As long as he doesn't have a 1. Right, because... Well, I guess he could coin out a 2. It's, it's whatever. I don't have a super strong play, but... Uh... That's your cue to pass your turn unless you have a 1. I was going to say, don't have a strong 2, but might as well just play that. You're supposed to pass the turn to me. Come on. Coin, coin out of two? Nope, we have a one. Okay, that's... Um, I guess rather unfortunate, because this is not a super great counter to that. Um, and then kind of doesn't... It's kind of a neutral uh, board state, in a sense. I mean, he can very easily buff it, and then it gets, like, you know... Oh, he's got it, yeah, okay. Oh, never mind, he's got the Earth Shock. So he can trade, it, uh, trade his thing now. Oh, he has... This guy's got much better start than I. Uh, so, and there's Kaldazad again. I guess we'll throw that out. Uh, see what happens. Um, following turn, I guess we'll go with this. Uh, the keeper, maybe take that guy out, get a better chance of maybe trading here or something. I don't know. We'll see. Um, might as well just push that onto my face. That's a weird way to phrase it, but. Yeah. I wonder. Ah, doesn't really have anything good. Okay, so um, I would say I'm gonna go ahead and just attack through that, but you never know. Let's see. Let's do two to that, and we'll hit that and kill the time chow. Nope. Okay. Ah, it doesn't really matter too much. I guess I can like use this to kill it off next turn. I mean, I don't really have anything good here to play. I uh, mean, we live in roots. Uh, might as well get some two, uh, two one ones, perhaps. So, so far, nothing super exciting. No new cards. Uh, leave explorers. That is not just from this particular wing, but yeah. I wonder. All right, he's got a five drop. He likes. There is a lot at stake. Mm. All right. Well, hopefully I can hit that. Should I just do this and uh, yeah. If I do this and that, hmm. Well, let's, fit, let's go for it. It's gonna miss. No, it. Oh, it hit. Oh, superb. Let's go ahead and do this. And uh, go ahead and just throw this guy out there. And then we'll attack in those face a bit. The zombie chow has... Has he gotten 6 damage in? I mean, if he hits my face now, it's going to be 6 damage, I think, right? He's been on the board for a while. But I think he's probably going to trade here. Oh, okay, he's going to trade here. Yeah, that's, that's also reasonable. And he has a, another, like, an earth shock between frost shock, maybe. Gotta mix it up a little bit, right? One of each shock. Um, hopefully I draw into something. <laughs> Otherwise, something good at least. Oh, that's 
I'll take it. Let's go ahead and uh, just clear the board. That's not bad. Does he have a big game hunter now? Because why not? Oh, eerie statue. Cannot attack unless it's the what? Cannot attack, or can't attack unless it's the only minion on the battlefield. Oh, that's interesting. Uh, well. Should I just Savage Roar just to get it? No, I don't, even, I don't think I want to do that. That's a little too much, I think. Hopefully he doesn't have a silence. If he does have a silence, I don't really care. I mean, I don't think he can clear my board. Uh, in, in which case, that can get seven face damage. But uh, okay, that's fine. Yeah, that's totally fine. Right? Wait, hold on. Let's not miss lethal like I have, you know, a lot of times in my uh, against my against the AI in the uh, Live Explorers campaign. So. Let's do the math. One, two, two. Nine. This would give me six. So that's fifteen. Uh, not enough for this. So, nope. Alright, let's go ahead and just, uh... Play that. There's a little dude there. Um... Might as well go for face, I suppose. Eh, well. Eh. Eh, face. I was gonna, I mean, maybe taking out a boom bot might be a little pretty good, but. Eh. So if I hit that and it kills, like, this guy or this guy, it's just gonna come back anyways. It's, like, one less boom bot. But, like, theoretically, he has a chance to, like, kill my kill the Zod. I guess not. Not now, anyways. Well, I guess. Uh, crackle? Oh, no. Okay. Well, we got one new card. We saw one new card. Um, yeah, that's that. That's about that. So, anyways, that was this week's Tavern Brawl. Nothing super exciting, but at the same time, potentially very exciting, because random cars, right? Anyways, uh, that's it for this week, and uh, until next time, thank you for watching. Bye.